Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Sam's haul. Plus we are going to be cleaning out the deep freeze, freezers, pantry, fridge, all that good stuff. I'm gonna go through inventory. I'm gonna go through my stock room with you guys. I have a ton of new subscribers on here, which thank you for that. But I thought I would kind of do a recap of how I keep my stuff organized, how I stock up and all that good stuff. So we went to Sam's Club, we spent $180.87. We did have Sister Shoe Barrels on our cart and somehow she skipped them, checking them out um, and it was busy. We weren't gonna let wait, so we just gave them to the guy leaving because you know they didn't scan when you leave. And so it's all right because I just picked some up at Kroger, so it'll be okay. Other than that, um, like I said, we spent $180, so let me get you turned around and I will share what we got. Okay, so here is everything that we picked up at Sam's Club. We start over here. We got the 24 pack of Powerade. We got the big thing of the flavored waters. This is the variety pack, 32 bottles. You've got, stop Max. Um, got pineapple, mango, wild berry, lemon. Oh, Max is leaking me, stop. Lemon and grape. So we really love these. Um, the pineapple mango I actually tried for the first time last week and it's really good. So I was happy to see. Will you stop? Why? Stop it. Um, it was really good, so I was happy to see that in the variety pack. Got some more uh, heartburn medicine. This is my favorite, and it's really cheap getting here. It's like under $10, um, and you get three packs of 14. Got our lovely cheese. This is the cheese we always buy. We do not like the other cheese. We tried it last week just to get through till we could go to Sam's, and we were really happy to go and get this. Picked up some butter. Luke got him some deodorant. He needed more. Y'all, this is on sale. I don't know how long it's going to be on sale. Um, but it was on sale for $6.98 for five. That is a killer deal. Killer deal. Got our favorite cheese dip. Finally got some of it. I have missed I have missed this stuff. Got um, Winston some elderberry. I found this... Um, it's pretty much like two chickens except for it doesn't have the legs and um, but it's got four breast plus wings and look $3.98 that was an amazing deal so I went ahead and picked that up so we'll add it into our meal plan this week or I can always freeze it also got some more paper towels we love the Sam's brand of the paper towels and the toilet paper we still have a whole case of um, toilet paper so I didn't worry about buying one of them Got some chicken. I found some boneless, skinless chicken thighs on sale. And this was $9.64. And it was over six pounds. And then we got some chicken breast right at six pounds for $10.45. So I think I counted it out. This will be like four or five meals um, for us. I'll divide it all out and share that with you guys in a little bit. Um, Got when Luke picked out some sirloin steaks, pretty pricey, but you got to splurge every now and then. So we got four of those. Picked up some broccoli, y'all. They have not had this the past few times we've went, and I've seen it, and I was so excited. I love their broccoli. They're good, nice, full pieces, and they're good big size bags. Way cheaper than getting it, um, even for a dollar at Kroger or Walmart. These are uh, a splurge, I guess, but our neighbor had had us over for dinner, and these are the patties that they had, and y'all, they were so good. So, she showed me the package so I could go get them, and it is the ground sirloin beef patties. These are the Sam's brand. They're so good, y'all. I feel like they're really up there top, like, best frozen patties very good so we went ahead and got those that was 18 I think it was like 18.98 so there's 18 patties in here so that's like a dollar like a dollar a patty so 
pretty good price, so that will last last us give us a few meals because we normally cook like four to five uh, each time. So that's good. And then the last thing we got some vinegar. We have been out for a while. And that was one of the things Luke was like, we have to get because I put vinegar in our laundry and it really helps with odors um, and where Luke works and all that. We've been able to tell a huge difference in his clothes, um, just washing them without the vinegar and drying them. They still kind of have an odor. And so he was like, you got to go get vinegar. That's very important. So we're happy to have that again. Um, and I've had people ask like how much I put and y'all, I don't know. I just kind of pour it in. So I think it looks right. I don't know, maybe a cup, maybe a little more. I don't know. <laughs> but now that we haven't had it for about a month with washing clothes, we can definitely, definitely tell a difference. So that's everything. And whenever I package up all the meat and do the, put it all in the freezer, I'll share that with you guys next. I'm gonna go through the deep freeze first. Um, do the deep freeze then we'll kind of organize the stock room but I'm going to be using one of my printables um, I'm testing these out so I'm going to use it for a little while first uh, but this is just one of my freezer inventory sheets and I'm going to use it write everything down write how much I'm going to do it in pencil so that way I can race the quantity as I use it and you know mark it down or mark it completely out as needed Normally, I keep my list on here um, with stickers, and it's just not a good, not a good way for me to stay organized. So this way, if I do it this way, like I said, I can write it off as I use it and um, take it off. And these, you know, you can just print and reuse. So we're gonna go through here. It is pretty full um, with us going to Sam's. So we're gonna go through here, see what all we got, write it all down and get it all organized. Now we're gonna get this side cleaned up. So if you're new here, we keep um, food storage and um, I have a video, I have a um, video that I made a long time ago talking about my food storage and how I do it. I'll have that original video linked down below for you guys in case you're interested. Um, so this is kind of what we got going on. It is a hot mess. So I'm just going to go through the food side, organize it. And then I'm also going to go through my appliances and organize it because <laughs> it's a mess also but this room is looking better i finally went through it um a ton of crap we are going to put in the yard sale this week yeah this weekend um actually when this video will be up we'll be having the yard sale friday um so i finally was able to get through here if you've been here a while you know how bad this room was it was so bad so it's kind of getting there getting organized um i just got to get this stuff put up and go through under here but for the most part it's a lot better than it was, so let's get this cleaned up. It looks 10 times better really really happy with it so we got these shelves from Sam's Club in case you're wondering we got them at Sam's Club a while back whenever we started this whole food storage thing and I'll just start at the top and kind of go through what we got I did make a list of things that I normally like to keep in here but I'm running low on or I might only have one of so I do have a list made that I will buy within the next few weeks oh it's raining and it's sunny. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it. Sorry, that just caught me off guard. <laughs> okay, anyways, back to what we were doing. I'm gonna go over everything with y'all, just to kind of share what we got, what we like to keep. Now, 
I did want to say, just because we have food storage, it doesn't mean we don't use it. So, I normally shop pantries, freezers before I do a meal plan. And then I will also use this stuff throughout the week or, um, you know, throughout the month, whatever. If I need to come in here and pull a veggie or, you know, pull something out of here, I will. It's not like we have this in here and we don't use it. We use it and we rotate it. Um, so, say that I buy... Um, I buy carrots um, in a grocery haul. I will take and pull one of these car cans of carrots, put it in the pantry to have for the week, and put that one in here. Like, so I'm rotating. I'm not, there's no, no dates are going to expire. Um, we go through this food. We rotate it um, throughout and use it throughout. So we have a ton of cereal. We are big cereal eaters here. So we have a ton. I do not like to spend more than $1.50 on a box of cereal. And honestly, most of the time I find them for 99 cents or I even find them at the Dollar Tree. So I don't pay a lot for cereal. I just don't see the point in it. So um, pretty much, I think, let's see. This one came from the Dollar Tree. That one came from the Dollar Tree and that one came from the Dollar Tree. And that's a family size box from the Dollar Tree. So um, yeah. They all come from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Got um, some beef ramen and some chicken ramen. We have our silverware in here. We bought a big pack of that for Winston's birthday party. And we'll just use that throughout the year for different things. So I have it put up in here. And then I keep our big thing of toilet paper in here. And we keep our paper towels in the closet just because it's easier access. And um, the whole thing will fit in the bottom of the closet. And then we've got some buttermilk cornbread. We've got some quick and easy potatoes. We've got some peas, some canned pumpkin, some chili. We got peanut butter. This was on sale a couple weeks ago for 99 cents. So I went ahead and picked up the amount that I was allowed because that was a really good deal and we eat a lot of peanut butter in this house. Mac and cheese, I found all this on sale. Um, like I said, if you follow my channel regularly in my grocery hauls, you y'all probably like she's just repeating herself, but it's okay. <laughs> Mac and cheese, pasta. I do need to stock up again on pasta. I'm low on. Normally I keep elbow macaroni in here, more rigatoni, ziti, all that stuff. So I am gonna be looking out for that to be on sale soon, so I can get some more pasta in here. We've got some corn and some green beans i have green beans written down on the list and also have peas written down on the list because i've only got three cans of peas and three cans of green beans so i do want to stock up more on those i've um, got carrots cream of chicken i need to go get cream of mushroom i like to keep both on hand we are completely out of cream of mushroom we have got black beans i just realized the that was pinto. So we got black beans, one can of pinto beans, and then these are potatoes. I really like to keep dry mixes in here, um, beef bouillon cubes, um, chicken bouillon. So as you see, I'm out of beef. I have that written down on my list to purchase. And then I also have like brown gravy, um, ranch, dry ranch, and um, dry Italian that I need to pick up. And then I always keep salt and pepper. And then we've got some extra drink things. And then down here, I've got some ready to go like rice -a um, hamburger helper. I do need to get some more hamburger helper. I just like to keep that on hand for quick and easy meals. You know, even that's something that Luke can cook if I'm not able to. And then got some dried beans, dried rice. We've got some ready to eat soups, just need to heat up and go. And then we got pasta sauce. I just bought Prego which is in the back, and um, that was on sale this week for 99 cents. Um, so I just picked up some of that because that was a really good deal. I went ahead and put Luke Scott sauce in here um, just to get out of the pantry because I needed room for the pantry. Um, I am low on tomato items. I normally keep like Rotel, uh, more stewed style tomatoes, chili tomatoes, kind of stuff like that. But that is also something that I'll keep more of like in the winter time instead of summer. So I probably will just wait on that and stock up more when it, you know, more of like the fall winter season. And then I always keep one thing of regular sugar, one thing of brown sugar, which is back there. I always keep one of each on hand. And then if I go to pull that, 
I will automatically write it down on my grocery list. We've got some pancake mixes and cake mixes. I like to keep cake mixes in here also in case I need a random cake, you know, take to somebody or Winston and I just want to bake one. I am low on those. Um, and then I got some Spam. We've got tuna. And then we had more viney sausages, but Luke has been taking those to work as a quick snack. And then we like to have those with us too while we're camping and on the razor. So we can just pop the can open and eat it if we need to. Um, so I do need to get some more of those. We got some juice items for Winston and then bag of chips and some pretzels. So that's kind of everything. Um, everything that we keep on hand, like I said, I don't buy stuff if we're not going to eat it, uh, and we rotate it. So it's not, nothing's going to go out of date, nothing's going to go to waste, and that's just kind of how I do things. And then over here, it's just an extra shelf that we picked up, because we don't have a huge kitchen, and if y'all know me, I have a ton of kitchen stuff. <laughs> so most of my cabinets are filled with, like, my glassware and stuff like that. So I needed an extra shelf somewhere to put my crock pots and bigger appliances, so that's kind of what we got going on here. Um, and then I do have like all my party planning and like platters and stuff like that. I have that, Some a lot of that stuff's upstairs or in my, um, in the buffet in the living room. So this is just kind of basic stuff. Oh, and I do have a big, big thing of flour we picked up from Sands Club. I haven't even opened it yet. So that, that's what we got going on in here. That's kind of how, kind of how our food storage works. Um, I don't normally keep a food storage inventory list like I would my freezer, just because it's really easy for me to just walk in here, see what we got. Um, and then, like I said, I made a list of, you know, stuff that we need. So I'll just keep it on the fridge and I'll add a couple things at a time to our grocery list. Cause I like to do it $5 each week and so I'll purchase, if you're new here, I will only spend $5 each grocery week for to spend, to purchase something for my stock up. So like I said, this past week, the Prego was on sale for 99 cents a um, jar. So I picked up five of those. Now there's some weeks that I can do $10 or $15. Then I do, if there's certain things on sale, you know, and I don't want to miss the sales, then I will splurge. But the whole basis of the stock up is based off $5 each week. So I do have a, um, I will be having actually a printable made for that soon. So y'all can um, be able to do that if you're interested. I do have a basic one um, on that original video that I had talked about that I'll have linked for you guys, but I am revising that and I will have an updated version. So that's everything for in here y'all that's it that's it let's head on into the kitchen so now we're going to move in here to the freezer in the kitchen i'm just going to write this on the same um on the same freezer inventory sheet but as you see i've got kitchen freezer and deep freeze so i'll be able to keep it separate um so we're going to get everything cleaned out and get it all written down So it hasn't been long since I've actually went through this. Um, so I kind of had an idea of what I already had in here. I just made sure and I just wrote everything down. Like I said, um, kind of have like, you know, how much. And then I did do like the tilapia and the mahi-mahi. Um, like there's only two of each of those. So that would just be like one meal. So I just wrote it on the same line and put how many fillets were in each. But this is kind of the overview of everything that we already have, y'all. There's so much food here. Um, stuff for breakfast, lunch, and there's a bunch of dinner items. There's already, you know, freezer pancakes, French toast. There's salt breakfast sausage, all that stuff. There's a ton of veggies. So we have a really good list, an idea of what we have here um, 
in the house. So now I'm going to go through, clean this out, wipe the drawers down, and um, get the chicken and all that put up and get that written down on our list by packages and we'll get that put in the deep freeze. Got the fridge all cleaned out. Wasn't bad. I just put up, um, I'm going to put up that meat. I've got it sitting over here. And that's it. Looks all nice and clean. So here's the meat that we got from Sam's. I said that I would show y'all how many meals it makes. So this is the chicken thighs. It made four packages. There's five in each, I think, except for one of them has six. Um, but it's a, such a good deal, especially if you can find it on Markdown like that. Um, so this is four meals for us. Plus we already have one in the freezer. So that's five, five chicken thigh meals that we have here at the house. And then the chicken breast, we have got five here. We were completely out of chicken breast. So this is all we got. We do have a bag of chicken tenders, a full bag of chicken tenders that I haven't opened yet. Um, so I'll put all of this in the deep freeze. I've already wrote it down, labeled it on here. And then I'm going to pop this in the freezer in here. This is just leftover chili. Um, normally when I open a can of chili, we don't eat it all. So I normally take half of it out. Um, so I'm just going to pop this in the freezer. I'm going to label it so I don't forget. I don't label the chicken because I can see what it is and we use it fast enough that I know it's not going to go out of date. Um, or freezer burn or anything because y'all know us we eat a lot of meat around here um, but I am going to um, write down what this is because lord knows I'll forget so um, but we'll have this for next time when we do chili dogs again so instead of opening up another can I'll just pop this out and then it should be gone because like I said we use about half a can each time so this will be perfect so pretty happy with everything went through wrote everything down cleaned out the fridge freezers pantry and then y'all see my stock up so that's it. I'm going to end this video with cleaning out my pantry. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, I just thought I would share the haul and then how we stock up and how I keep inventory of everything. I'd love to know in the comments down below if you keep inventory. Um, how do you keep it? Just in a notebook or are you interested in sheets like this? Let me know. Um, even different designs. Just like the sheet in general like the items and quantity um for even if you have like food storage let me know if you have food storage your favorite things to keep in there how you keep it organized just let me know everything in the comments i love commenting with you guys and um getting to know y'all in the kitchen i guess <laughs> getting to know you and your kitchen and food storage so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys